President Donald Trump calls for stiffer penalties for drug traffickers, including the death penalty. This is part of his push to fight the nation's opioid academic, epidemic. And today, he traveled to New Hampshire, a state hit hard by the crisis, to sell his proposal. White House correspondent Mark Irons brings us the Catholic response. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Lauren. Pope Francis says the death penalty is contrary to the gospel. Today, President Trump made it clear he thinks some traffickers in the drug trade should have to pay the ultimate price. If we don't get tough on the drug dealers, we're wasting our time. Just remember that. We're wasting our time. And that toughness includes the death penalty. The president wants Congress to pass a bill creating stiffer sentences for drug dealers who peddle opioids. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says prescription drug opioids, heroin, and synthetic drugs like fentanyl killed a record 42,000 people in 2016. Father Basil Cole, a professor of theology at the Dominican House of Studies in Washington, D.C., says solutions are needed, but he describes the president's call for the death penalty as a knee-jerk reaction. There are other ways of doing things like this besides killing people. In principle, the Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches the use of capital punishment is the right of the state if this is the only possible way of effectively defending human lives against an unjust aggressor. In practice, justice can be attained through incarceration. The catechism continues, the cases in which the execution of the offender is an absolute necessity are very rare, if not practically non-existent. Some of these drug dealers will kill thousands of people during their lifetime. Father Cole says President Trump's justification for the death penalty is probably not a good argument. You can say the same thing with people who have AIDS and spread AIDS. They can be killing people. You're going to kill them too. You know, you just keep on going. And then, of course, let's kill abortionists because they're killing people too. Let's kill, let's kill, let's kill, let's kill. Doesn't seem to be the best or the highest solution to the problem. Father Cole says it's the work of the laity to pray, petition lawmakers, and come up with better solutions. Within the president's plan is the call for a nationwide public relations effort to convince youth not to use drugs. Lauren? The statistic I could not believe is that 160 people die every day from this addiction. White House correspondent Mark Irons, thank you so much.